Hi guys, Min Lu here. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today we're having a special event. It's called the Combat Lifesaver Class. This is open to the public and to our militias. So uh, this is at uh, San Leandro and every year we do this kind of class and it provides us um, medical knowledge of what we do in our everyday life including putting on like tourniquets, clearing the airway, and how to treat people when they're unconscious, and so on. So I'm gonna take you inside and have a look at our class. This is a cat tourniquet. This is what we recommend. This is the, in my opinion, the best one out there. So no one play with them. Um, this is the new style, this is a newer style of uh, the cat tourniquet. It's called a Sam tourniquet. Um, how it works and why I like it so I'm actually switching to this personally um, you just start pulling and you pull until it clicks so you know the tensions there and if you feel it's already starting to s slow my pulse and that's without even tightening oh, it wow how much is this one it runs the same price as a oh, as a cat tourniquet and you can get this at the same website um, I think you have to order this one from Sam Tourniquet directly. Oh. Hey guys, so right. we're going to try the tourniquet on my arm. So this is um, a two-handed body uh, tourniquet. Oh, body of fly tourniquet. So this is a cat tourniquet. This is the one that you want to get. Okay. Wait, where's the hook in for the... Oh, I go in here. Never mind. Okay, so I'm not going to go all the way tight. No, go as high as you want. Okay. Yeah. You want? All right. Oh. So if he got an on right, he shouldn't be uh, feeling um, my my pulse. He shouldn't be feeling my pulse. I should be, right? Yeah, you shouldn't be. No. Oh, that's it. Oh, and and it gotta hurt. <laughs> Look at my face. It does hurt. Once you wrap it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel it. Right you feel it? <laughs> Yeah, bump, yeah. bump, bump, bump. That means bump. not tight yeah. enough. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you gotta redo it, retie it. That is tight. Oh, that has been hurt even more, <laughs> man. I haven't seen it for uh, a couple of years. A couple of years. Uh, yeah. Okay. And this is what he he does to me when he sees me. Yeah. Turn again. Oh, I can't even get it too tight. So you get the gist. Yeah, you get the gist of it. Yeah. I think maybe there you move you it down a little bit long more. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, I went up too yeah. high, didn't I? Okay. Yeah. But um. All right. That's why we practice. Yep. Uh, thank you, thank you for uh, putting this on, hurting me a little bit, and uh, a little pain wakes you up pain. a little bit. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Nikki now is going to show you how to remove the needle from the uh, cartridge, and then how to feel, then insert the needle and remove the needle leaving the catheter in. Okay, so yeah, that taking it out, it's not, it's like not hard at all, not rocket science. So, second intercostal space, so it's between the uh, second and third. So right about here, bevel up. You see this uh, flat part of the needle? Flat side up. Exactly, good job. And then, you want to ride it over that third knee, that uh, third rib. And that's when it would make the sound. Yeah, little... and normally this would go. Yeah, to, to this... the hilt, just like mm -hmm. you have it. All exactly, the way. right to that hub, because you're not going to want it. Because this is going to, you know, there's still the some... meat seals the bottom of it, right? Exactly. There's still some back pressure, so you can like so you can realistically blow that thing out and then well you gotta do it again and the catheter is flexible so and we will show a video that as the lung inflates it's going to move that catheter around and take up the space that it was previously occupying yeah so you're not gonna you don't have to worry about puncturing your patient's lung with this it's i've seen the it, new ivs are plastic now too they're no longer aluminum or steel stainless or whatever yeah. Medical medical technology has come quite a ways yeah. and we're getting better and better. Um, she will show you the best way to... Okay, so um, once that's in there, that's that's going to be in there. That, what I just did. It, 
doesn't really apply. Okay, so, but if you have to recap a needle, it's not recommended in human medicine because they have all these cool fancy safety needles. But again, I worked as a vet tech, so improvising, yeah. So anyway, the scoop method. So if you have to recap, because again, well, you know, treat you. all your patients. So this, this is the <laughs> decompression chest decompression, right? Mm -hmm. So what I'm looking at is I'm, I'm finding the ribs, the, the, the second and the third rib, right? And looking between it, Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and stab the. Nope, nope. nope. That flat side's gonna oh. be down. Flat side. Flat side is up. Oh, the flat side is up. Up here. Ride that rotate and then oh. yeah. Okay. So go ahead and pull it out and like a wave. So you so can the edit flat this, right? side over here. Yeah, I like to uh, make it more. <laughs> <laughs> edit. No. Okay, so the that bow is gonna be up the flat side. All right, I'm gonna stab it in there, but I'm hey, not going to go on on in it all the way. Just enough that it'll puncture uh, the meat, okay? And then, since it's in there already, I'll pull up the needle. And now I got a needle, I'll put that away using the scoop method, okay? And then I'm gonna push it in all the way in. And then I'm gonna get tape. Tape and tape it around it. So tape around the, the, the orange thing so it doesn't move, it doesn't pop out. And uh, yeah, I think that's, that's it, right? Yep. Yep, good. good. So that concludes day one of our uh, Combat Lifesaver class. So I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you guys next time. And whenever you know we have an event like this, come. Come, rest and, and come and you can learn something, okay? Bye guys.